Hey folks, welcome back to our playthrough of Space Haven Alpha 14, Brutal Difficulty, first playthrough. Let's get started. Um, we return to our crew. We've just milked every little tiny bit of economy we could out of this civilian space station, the CS Ambivalence, and we're ready to move on to another sector. That was a quick hyperdrive charge because we actually already charged the hyperdrives earlier. We're going to see what we can find here. We could mine some ice on the way out of the sector. We also have two more unexplored territories down here, which is really good. I actually thought we were going to have to go to the next system, but it looks like we're only halfway through this system. So that's a really good thing for us. I'm going to stop here and mine the ice quickly if there's no threats like solar flares or anything like that. I think there might have been a solar flare in this sector that we encountered earlier, so we might have to leave in a hurry, but we'll see about that. I think what I do want to do is let's preemptively charge up. I think this is something we can start doing in the Alpha 14 version of the game. Let's preemptively start charging the hyperdrives whenever we enter a sector so that we can leave quickly in the event of, in the event of an emergency. I think that's something that's really going to help us out. Oh, really? Already? Oh, dear lord. I hope it doesn't affect our backup power. It literally, it must have been seconds after it gave us the notice that the solar flare actually hit us. Um, okay, we lost power. We can turn the generator back on, maybe? Okay, all the doors are closed. If fire's going on on board, Edward is getting exposed to some heat here. It looks like the only major fire that we had is in the shuttle bay area. So I think we're kind of all right here. It just might take a while for the power to go back to normal. I'm hoping that it's okay for our grow beds. We'll see. Um, let's take a look at the temperature in this grow bed area and the surrounding areas. The grow bed area is actually cold, so we need to open up some vents to make it normalize. So we're going to open up these vents. Actually, this is even colder, so we're going to leave that closed. This is hot. This is 28 degrees, so we're going to open that up. This is 30 degrees, so we're going to open that up. So we're letting heat from the surrounding industrial sector flow in to compensate for the lack of thermal regulation in the grow bed area. So we're up to 19 degrees centigrade, which is okay. Just have to keep an eye on it for a while is all. Okay, we're actually at 20 degrees centigrade now. We're going to open this to cool it off a little bit. Just to make sure it doesn't dip back down too much. doesn't get too high. All right, um, I guess we completed our mining, though. We just need to get our ship back in ship shape, so to speak, before we move on to the next sector. We can't jump like this. I mean, we probably could technically, but it's, you know, depending on what we run into in the next sector, we could die. Uh, it's not really a good idea. Okay, we still have smoke all through here, so I think I want to keep some areas closed. I just need to keep the, the front half of the ship separated from the back half. I think that should be enough. That's super unfortunate. I thought we could kind of, I thought we could get out like an hour or two before the flare hit after we finished the mining, but we just really got a bad RNG there. Sometimes the flare can take like eight hours to hit. Power's starting to stabilize a little bit, maybe? It's a little bit warm in here. So we're going to close this door, I think. Just manually regulating the temperature by controlling airflow through these different sections. Imagine being on board the ship and having to do that, like having to stand there in one of these hatches and like open and shut the lever when, you know, have a thermometer next to it. How weird would, how crazy would that be? Oh my god, you 
Hey, Neo, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Let's check our smoke over here. Uh, it's starting to get filtered out. It's getting it's getting a little bit clearer. Still having power problems. Let's check our... We still have half a blue crystal in our generator here. Yeah, thank you, dude. Uh, welcome aboard. Have you been lurking for a while, or did you, did you just drop in? Trying to figure out if there's any way I can make this warmer. Uh, we could probably close this door again. I think I'm a little bit worried about our grow beds here, because the temperature is going down into like 15, 16 degrees. Um, I mean, it's very warm in here, but the problem is... I think it's probably worth letting smoke, smoke into the crew area, though, in order to keep the plants alive. I think that's an acceptable trade-off. Thanks for lurking in my this game, though. I don't know how to ramp up from scratch. So many things to learn how to. Um, I actually did a tutorial series. If you want, you can check it out on YouTube. There's um, I start from the beginning of the game and just kind of explain everything and, and do a complete playthrough of the game. So if you wanted, you can look that up. Um, you know, the first couple, you know, you would probably really only need to watch like the first couple sessions to kind of get a feel for the major mechanics. Um, I will say, though, that this version of the game that, that's on the experimental branch changes some of the core mechanics, though, like the power system is a little bit different. Um, so just something to be mindful of. Sure, thanks. And my, uh, I think my YouTube channel is linked in my Twitch profile. Uh, if not, uh, it's the same uh, as my, uh, my YouTube handle is the same as my Twitch handle. Although I think there's a space in the middle. Um, this is getting too cold and there's nothing I can do about it because the power is still out and then this new version of the game there's like an issue where it's like it's really hard to get the power system stabilized um, I haven't figured out what to do about it if anything we're still at 0.4 blue crystals I wonder if I should try to like shut off thermal regulators in other sections of the ship. Maybe that would help. I'm going to try to shut off the factories just to make sure they're not using power. I don't think they are, though. I don't think we're doing anything with the factories right now. Okay. Temperature is still decreasing. Oh, it's starting to, started to go back up a little bit there. Like, it got power briefly to the thermal regulator. Yeah, so eventually I'm going to do another tutorial series for this version of the game that I'm currently playing. But this is my first full playthrough currently, so I'm still learning the mechanics a little bit. Um, temperature in here is going back up a little. That's good. I'm, I'm monitoring this particular room carefully because the grow beds are in here, and the grow beds have like a limited temperature range tolerance. All my plants will die if it goes below zero degrees centigrade, which isn't too harsh, actually. But... It's just that we have no control now because the electronics are down. I think when the ship gets... I think when the whole ship gets backed up to a more stable temperature, then we'll probably stop having these outages. I think the temperature is the thing that's causing the outages. Um, it probably means we need another thermal regulator somewhere. What's like the coldest part of the ship aside from this one little room? It's probably the forward section. I don't think we have a thermal regulator like in this whole area, really, except for these two at the very front. I'm gonna try sticking one in the hallway and see if it helps with our power situation by evening out the temperature a little bit in the different sections. Uh, we might also need one in the shuttle bay. 
And we have one over here, but we might need another one. Yeah, the temperature up here... It's up to 26 now here, so we can open this. Here we go. So you can see actually the power fluctuations are smoothing out now that the temperature has gotten back to normal. It's only because the temperature went crazy that the power system also went crazy. So now that we got that sorted out, uh, we just have to let our guys rest a little bit. Lucky's not doing too hot. Uh, he needs some real food, not like space algae. Really doesn't want to sleep in the bed for some reason. Oh, this is set up. Oh, no wonder. These are set as prisoner beds. I forgot that I did that. I don't know why I did that at some point. Um, we obviously have no prisoners right now, so we can have Lucky sleep in an actual bed. There we go. Now he's probably going to be a lot more comfortable. He's going to have a lot less trouble with existing. Uh, how much blue crystal do we have left in our generator? 0.3. It's not much at all. Okay, I think we're going to travel. Oh, let's try to get our other hyperdrive fixed first. We've still got one that's damaged. There we go. Nadi's working on it. a lot of fixing. It's a good thing we worked on it before we left. Okay. Um, we're still jumping over weight, so we're going to take more hyperdrive damage, so it's a good thing we fixed the three damage we have, because our hyperdrive is pretty beat up. Alright, cool. Thanks for the lurk. Uh, we got some Hyperium here, which is super valuable to us right now, and I think it's also on the way to our next stop, so let's go check that out. Do we dare check out this derelict ship, considering the shape that the crew is in? I think it would be a mistake for us not to. I think it's a I think we only have so many opportunities to get more crew members in the early stages of the game, and this could be one of our last opportunities before the aliens start getting really tough. We've already seen some al tough aliens in some areas. Um So we're going to gamble on this and hope that it's not too bad. Okay, it looks manageable. We don't see a nest in here. We see a bunch of crawlers, which is fine. It's going to take us a minute to murder those. Let's try not to shoot that cred stick on the table if we can help it, boys. Okay, let's move a little bit in so we can get a better shot. Lucky got bit. Of all the people that could have got bit, why'd it have to be lucky? That's rough, buddy. Okay. Oh, we just got like 200 credits. That's like a gold mine at this point in our game, our playthrough. That's like a whole blue crystal that we could buy. Okay, we got that done. We got all this stuff, we got some energy scrap we can bring on board, and most importantly, we have the Hyperium crystals that we can bring on board. Um, and then we'll see what else we have time for, depending on whether there's hazards in the sector or anything like that. And also on whether our blue crystal runs out. But this Hyperium is a super good find. And I think um, we actually have enough power that we could produce another blue crystal from the recycler. Or we have enough energy scrap, rather. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then we'll be getting a little bit more energy scrap from this derelict here. Probably not too much. Probably like two or three units. Oh, we already emptied it out, actually. Maybe it was empty to begin with. Lucky is unconscious in the mining pod. Now unconscious in the airlock of the mining pod. Here we go. Um, I think we need to find an... 
First, we gotta stack up on blue crystals and green crystals. Once we got that figured out, then we need to get another tech block so we can build another hyperdrive. Did you see my question earlier? Um, is this version so different or just a few changes to the logic? Um, so in the previous version of the game, the, so the, the big thing that they changed, there's a couple changes like the, um, they changed the diet system to make it a little more impactful. So like your crew suffer more penalties from malnourishment. Um, they, they've they added crew skill learning, which is a big change, but it doesn't impact the play gameplay a lot in the sense that like you can just pick crew that have good skills and you can still continue to play. Um, but the big thing now is that your crew can improve over time, which they couldn't in the previous version. So that's a pretty awesome improvement to the game. Um, but the biggest fundamental mechanic that changed is the the way that power works. Um, so it used to be that you had these generators and then you would have like a network of links um, that you would, you would uh, build up nodes from the generator running all around the ship and you had to like put together a network and power to flow through the network to all the systems on the ship. Um, in this version, they have what's called basic power and advanced power. So basic power is just like it runs through the hull automatically. You don't have to build anything for it except for the genera generator itself. And it powers all the smaller systems like the thermal regulator regulators, the life support, the you know airlocks and grow beds and all that kind of stuff. And then the things that take uh, large amounts of electricity like the manufacturing facilities have their own separate power nodes, which are like wireless power nodes called um, small power nodes and large power nodes. Um, so you, don't ha you no longer have the network where you have to like figure out how to tie all the different sections together and you no longer have like um the same level of outage where you can have like a ship-wide outage if one node gets destroyed um but this new power system is still in the experimental phase like they just um it's not on the stable branch of the game yet if you have to sign up for like the experimental alpha release of the game in the the steam uh, options if you want to try this version out um so they're still working out some of the kinks Okay, we're um, we're out of blue crystal. We're running on reserve power again. So, sure thing. <clears throat> so yeah, if, you, if I if I miss a question, please by all means uh, remind me because I I try to respond to everything even if it's like even if it's just like a you know hey i don't want to do the thing that you suggested at least say something about it if i notice it which i try to lucky what can we do for you buddy you need uh, micrometeoroids. Not the worst thing that can happen to us, but it's not ideal. Let's close. I'm going to leave our vents open until we actually get hit by something. Uh, I don't want to get stranded here, though. Let's um, suspend our raw chemical mining and just get the essential thing that we really need, which is the... The other thing that I'm worried about here is that our most wounded... Yeah, this is unsafe, actually. Our most wounded guy is in the mining pod. Uh, so, if he... Oh, man. Of course, the one room that has to get set on fire is the grow bed room. You're killing me. Killing me, game. Uh, all our plants are dead. So bad. Except for these two. They're at least in a separate... Lucky, do not go out there. <laughs> okay, we're gonna take Lucky off of mining duty. You're not allowed to do that anymore. Um, we're gonna let Edward do it from now on. Until further notice, till Lucky's actually back to good health again. Okay, so we got a bad temperature environment here. Um, in order to solve that, we're going to have to open up this and this. Not this. This and that's already open for some reason. And that. I got that right. Yeah, okay, the, the gas grubber's in there. So we're just letting the smoke air out. And... We need to have Edward have a high priority for mining. He does. 
So he should be getting in the pod. There he goes. All right, good. I'm sure Lucky, uh, the guys in the mining pod can get a concussion if they're in a meteorite shower, and that causes some health degradation over time. This guy's already at less than half health because of uh, nutrition issues, so uh, we're going to leave him on board the ship and not send him out into danger. He's also got a crawler bite still from the last derelict that we just explored. We actually survived the meteorite shower. That wasn't too bad. Could have been a lot worse. It sucks that it bombed our plants, but at least we didn't have a whole bunch of damage all over the ship that we had to fix. Ooh, new civilian ship coming in the sector. If we're lucky, we can buy some blue crystals from them, which we desperately need. Actually, I don't actually think we can afford to wait six hours for them to get here. We're going to have to keep moving ahead and hope that they catch up with us. The thing is, once this basic backup power, we're out of the blue crystals that generate power. So once this backup power is out, we're toast. That's when the ship loses power and we can't do anything anymore, I think. So these guys, if we stick around for these guys, they have to have at least one blue crystal, which most ships do. It's usually a pretty safe bet. Edward is has fallen unconscious in the mining pod. He's just too tired to work. Okay. Someone's going to bring him to bed. That's fine. Poor Edward. He tried hard. Nadia's going to go out and finish his work. And he's like, rawr, rawr, I gotta do everything around here. Majestic Maelstrom, what do you have for us? Ooh, we can... You want a rifle and you want plastic. Those are good things because we could make some money. Um, you have two blue crystals to sell us, which is very nice. Um, we can also sell you a unit of chemicals, which is good because we can make more. Un it's unfortunate that you don't have any carbon. But I think this is worthwhile for us to sell the stuff that we have here. It's unfortunate that you don't want vegetables, but that's okay. And we can fill the rest of our hold here with uh, biomatter waste. Um, is there anything else we want to buy from these guys besides the two blue crystals? We could think about buying another green crystal, but I think I would rather save the money for another blue crystal because we just picked up two more blue crystals and our uh, drive's are already full. Let's see. So we actually have the chemical refinery paused right now, which is fine. Once we trade, once we could do this trade, we'll have blue crystals on board. We can reactivate the refinery. Um, we don't have to actually, do we? I think we still need fertilizer, so we should reactivate the refinery for that. And maybe also we could crank out some refined chemicals. Okay, there we got our energy I'm in a stack on the cargo bay there. At some point we have to start making hull revisions again, but before that I think we still need the, the tech block for the third hyperdrive. Oh, we got a thousand credits now. Mmm... Maybe we could afford to buy another unit of Hyperium. How's our ice supply? Our ice supply is good, actually. I'm going to buy one more Hyperium unit, because I don't know how much we're going to encounter in the rest of this sector. And that still leaves us enough to buy, like, two blue crystals. Maybe three if we get a really good price. Okay, let's reactivate this. I'm going to turn off plastic production, because we don't have any spare carbon. We can still produce some fertilizer here. And we have almost two blue crystals in the generator now. Which is still not much, but it's pretty good. Okay, that's it for this sector. Uh, what's with the power outages, guys? Come on. Oh, did I leave all the doors closed? No, I didn't. 
I guess the hyperdrives were taking a little bit of extra juice, maybe. Okay, so our next stop is down this arm. Okay, we got some carbon here. I think that's a pretty good thing. Let's pick that up first. Oh, we've got a trading station down here with some Hyperium nearby. That's a great place to stop. So we'll pick up the carbon here. We'll start manufacturing a little bit of plastic, but depending on how much carbon we get here. And then hopefully we'll sell it at the station. Only one carbon unit, sadly. We can manufacture a unit of plastic from that. Um, let's manufacture an assault rifle, actually. And we're just going to produce one plastic unit. What's Edward's mining skill, by the way? He's at four, but his cap is like seven or eight. Like our meteorites are rude. Uh, we don't really need this noble metal, so we're just going to head back to the ship and get ready to jump. We really just needed the carbon here. We're a long way from being able to afford a basic shield, unfortunately. Um, can we get that fixed before the ship... Okay. Um... We need to get our spacesuits on here. We will be able to leave the sector before the meteorite shower is over. Here we go. Alright, I hope the sector is a little bit safer. If it is, we could take some time here. Um, I think our plants are going to die, which is unfortunate. At least, I mean, the two that are in here, in this room. Um, can we get somebody to actually fix this? Edward, fix that. Nadia, drop what you're doing and come fix this. Generator's taking some damage. Uh, maybe Lucky can fix that. I think he should be able to. Uh, maybe go get a spacesuit first, buddy. A lot of air leaking out here. Oh, here uh, here's a closer... Spacesuit hatch, actually. There we go. Um, let's see. What was he fixing again? Generator. Where's the air still leaking out? Did it, Nadia? Didn't I sign Nadia to fix this? Did she screw up? She must have screwed up. Did the airlock get destroyed? What's going on here? I think this should hopefully fix the issue once this... Oh, this is not actually sealed. It's all one big compartment. That's what's going on here. Look, he's working on the generator. Okay, we can bring all the do open up all the doors again. I'll keep everybody on board for a while until we get the power sorted. Um, let's check our temperatures here, 11 degrees. So we can close this again. There we go, temperature's going up here. Oh, we can turn off the spacesuit mandate. Uh, let's check our blue crystal supply here. Uh, we're running down our... Oh, we actually do have blue crystal uh, still in the generator. I thought surely because we're having these outages we must be out, but it seems like that's not the case. Okay. Oh, this is really hot now, so let's open this up.
The Centennial Hawk and the Little Mule have entered the sector. So we have three trading potential trading partners now. We have the station, we have two Android chips. Okay, so the station wants our chemicals, and they'll pay a little bit for our vegetables. They have blue crystals for them, and a couple green crystals. They also have a couple tech blocks and energy blocks. And they have a lot of carbon, that's really good. These guys, the little mule, have a ton of blue crystals, which is good because they're cheap. Okay, yeah, we're gonna buy some blue crystals for the little mule, that's a good start here. Um, we can sell them a unit of chemicals to get a third blue crystal here. Oh, they have cheap tech box too. Oh, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. Actually, let's buy two blue crystals to start with because I want to spend some money on buying carbon from the station. The Centennial Hawk has any... So you think we can sell the Centennial Hawk to keep them around? Let's sell them some biomatter. Okay, and then the Zuralands Folly, which is the station, will be our supplier of carbon. We get four carbon units, which is going to be a big profit for us once we actually have power on board the ship again. Um, can we fix all the stuff that's broken, guys, before we go to bed? Hull stabilizer repaired. I think getting the thermal regulators repaired is the big thing. There we go. Maybe it's just the hull stabilizer. Maybe that's... No? Still having a little bit of fluctuation there. Okay, we got it more or less evened out. We have to be good enough. How much is it to build another generator, by the way? Not that we really have the resources for that. Um, Power. Oh, we don't have the research done yet, so it's going to be a long time before we get that. So we still have to get the research facility back online first. So this, this ship, by the way, is... Uh, I'm playing on the hardest difficulty, and it's a post-disaster scenario, so... Um, I, the ship was actually completely destroyed. I had a five-man crew, and I had the ship starting to get built up a little bit. I have a bunch of these factories already built, but the ship got destroyed by uh, cultists attacking us, and uh, they boarded and kidnapped two of our crew members, and then we had to send them a bunch of resources as tribute to get them to leave us alone. Um, so this is what's left of the ship after that whole fiasco, and we were lucky to be able to survive. And we had some... Um, good compartmentalization to keep the ship from losing too much atmosphere when the hull got destroyed. Um, okay, let's pick up some raw chemicals here. Oh, we lost the ship that had the... shoot. The ship that had all the uh, cheap good stuff has left the sector. Where did they go? We don't see them. Uh, I lost... Crap. I lost track of that android ship that had the really nice stuff. The cheap tech blocks. Centennial Hawk has also left the sector. Um, what have we got here? We can get some plastic manufacturing on one, online now that we actually have a surplus blue crystal. And I think we should be able to get... We actually have a rifle already manufactured. That's good. We could sell this rifle for some more carbon. And another blue crystal definitely worth. Oh, we're going to sell this unit of food, too. Carbon is just, like, so profitable. Um, do we go for a tech block? Not yet, I think. I think we're getting there, but let's not, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Um, if we get another blue crystal, that would be really good. That's a good balance, I think. Four blue, four carbon and two blue crystals. Lucky's dying over here. What the heck's going on, buddy? Uh, Lucky has no nutrition. Oh, we might need to buy some food in order for Lucky to survive.
I'm able to eat. Oh, crap. That's a big problem. Food's expensive. Okay. Okay, we're gonna put. We're gonna give Lucky a little bit of extra time in the middle of the day here. So you're gonna have an extra sleep in the middle of the day and an extra two hours to eat in the middle of the day. To make sure you get enough um, algae, I guess, because that's all that we can give you right now. How's um? Oh, we have botany four now. So actually, we could start thinking about growing some other crops. I think. Um, yeah, let's grow some fruit. That'll help out. Uh, lucky situation a little bit. He actually is feeling much better just from eating the one time and then lying down for a while. So that's pretty good. I think we're gonna kill one of these grow beds in order to start making some fruit. I think that's gonna be super valuable for us. Okay, so that's... Are we waiting on manufacturing? What are we waiting for? We're gonna manufacture some plastic. Let's do... Three units, if we can afford it. I think we can. We got the three blue crystals now. We should be good. And let's go up to three water units max instead of two. Don't set fires on board my ship, guys. It's pretty rude. And Lucky is starving again. Or he's at low health again. He's still sleeping. His health kind of goes up as long as he is resting, but then it goes down again because of uh, when he wakes up because of the starvation. Edward is also starving. Do we not have enough? I guess we got to stop selling our vegetables. Um, all right, let's travel. I think we find some good stuff in these sectors. This derelict ship is very risky because Lucky is uh, not doing well. But I think, again, it's a risk we have to take because our resources are so low and it's pretty late in our playthrough, relatively speaking. So we just gotta hope there's nobody home and we can pick up some free stuff from the ruins of this space station. See what our options are for docking. I wanna go in here because we can moonwalk over there and have access to the interior of the station without going through the airlock and being point blank. Lucky's actually feeling a little bit better. I'm gonna have him take up the rear though. Uh, this doesn't look good. We're we gonna start shooting. If any of those eggs hatch, we're out of here. I should say, if any of them hatch into big guys, we're out of here. Come on. Okay, we're out. We're out. Goodbye. Good luck. Yeah, we don't have the firepower for that anymore. Not with all of our guys suffering from malnourishment. And having only three of them to begin with. Okay, that's unfortunate. Couldn't get any resources here. Gotta just keep moving on. I don't think we stop for base metals right now. I don't think that really does anything for us. Let's check out this other derelict. Ooh, this other sector has got some blue crystals and some other good stuff there. And I bet this is also the android ship that had the cheap tech blocks. Unfortunately, they're flying away from us currently. But if we're lucky, we can get a ship here that doesn't have too many aliens on board. Maybe get some stuff here and then go trade and mine in the next sector.
Oh, we got a cryostasis pod. Fourth crew member is invaluable right now. We're going to go get that before anything else. Oh my god, this is such a windfall. Oh, they're dead. Oh no. Oh, it was a fake out. Why did you do this to me, game? Oh no. At least the ship seems to be empty. So we can get a couple of free resources, potentially. Oops. Didn't mean to shoot at that. Just misclick there. Okay. Okay, we've explored the ACS Little Bug. Let's see what we get from the Little Bug. Um, energy cells are good trade goods. So it's nice that we get that. We're going to get some energy scrap as well if we have time. Um, how are we doing on soft scrap? We're okay on soft scrap. We might get a little bit of tech scrap. Oh, it's super unfortunate that our new crew member was dead on arrival. Oh, Siren World. Don't do that to me. No, no, no. Okay, no more salvaging here. Um, we are going to get our stuff and leave. Okay, at least got we at least got them back on board the ship. That's good. Oh, Nadia got whammy. That's not good. That's not good at all. Okay, we're gonna get out of here before it gets any worse. Got whammied by a random natural space hazard here. Uh, and the power outage on top of that. Okay, the hyperdrives are damaged. How bad is it? Five out of eight. Do we take that chance? I think we're going to take that chance. Siren World is real bad when you have only three crew members. Um, we're going to stop here to give our crew some time to get back to normal before we go and check out the other derelict in the next sector. Otherwise, I wouldn't bother with a space medal if, if not for the fact that our crew was currently going off their rocker. Just gonna give these guys a couple hours to do normal things that they need to do. Can you eat something? I don't think he's not gonna eat. Actually, Nadia's already back to normal. That's pretty good, I think. So it's just lucky that we're waiting on now. I think everybody's doing... Did we get our first crop of vegetables yet? I don't think we... Or fruits yet? I don't think we did. Uh, Lucky, where are you going, buddy? Go eat food. Uh, he's setting stuff on fire. That's the absolute worst. It's so unlucky that we're getting that. That hardly ever happens. In at least it hardly ever happened in the previous version. It seemed like Nadia Nadia was right there with him and put the fire out right away. So that's pretty good at least. We're gonna lock him out of the grow bed zone. We're just gonna leave that locked for a while. Of course, there's five tasks in there as soon as I lock it, right? Okay. Um, okay, Edward's restocking the... We got food in the kitchen. That's cool. The thermal radiation sector. I think that's what's causing our power fluctuations here. Temperature in here is quite hot. Maybe we can close this room and that'll help.
It's not going to do anything I tell him to do. Uh, maybe... Back to normal? Not quite. Sometimes does what I tell him to do. But he won't sleep. Or eat anything. I think as long as he's on the ship going crazy, we want to keep everybody on board. I don't think we should go out mining here. As long as there is a potential for him to damage stuff. We need our hyperdrives fixed up also. Getting the hyperdrives fixed, that's good. Still waiting on Lucky. He's actually doing work. I think. He actually fixed something. Even though his status shows that he's like messed up and not able to do anything, even though he can't sleep. He's still actually doing productive stuff on board the ship. He's just dying because he's starving to death and he can't get better. We might have to find a ship that has medical service and hire some medical service for him. A lot of a lot of other faction ships have that, so let's get let's get the mining done. Um this hyperdrive needs to be fixed properly, though. Um, let's leave that to Nadia. Oh, Lucky's finally sleeping. That's good. It's not what I ordered him to do, but it's fine. It's good that he's doing it. Okay, Nadia, we need you to finish the maintenance. All of it. Might take her a couple tries here, because she's only fixing one hit point at a time out of eight. working on it. Uh, Nadia needs to eat food. I wish I could order my other two crew members to hold him down and force feed him, just so he didn't die. I don't know if there's, if there's nothing I can really do. He's just like that now. Of course, if he got in a fist fight with them while they were trying to hold him down and force feed him, he would probably die anyway. Still can't get rid of that Siren World. Gotta eat something, buddy. Come on. I'm worried that Lucky's gonna die. Let's, um... We're gonna jump to another sector and try to find him some medical help. Lucky why? He put a he started a fire and then immediately started trying to put it out. I think this is gonna get him killed. Cause he's gonna get injured on top of everything else. 
Okay, we're gonna go to another sector. And we're just gonna live with the fact that our ship's on fire while we're in transit here. I'm gonna try to get help at this Merchant Federation station. I don't know if they're gonna be able to help. I don't know if the Merchant Federation has medical facilities. At least Lucky's wearing a spacesuit now, so that should help with the firefighting. I think we might lose our grow beds here. Mining station, that could be good for us, but it's not likely they're gonna have medical facilities. So we might be looking at the end of Lucky. Um, am I not getting the vents view here? The, the UI is a little bit glitched here. It's like, it should be that um, the color changes when I, that's what I'm expecting to say. It wasn't showing up there for some reason right away. Do I have spacesuits on all the time? Is that why nobody's sleeping? No, I didn't. I didn't turn that on. Uh, the plants. Some of the plants died. Not all of them. Nope. Now oh, they all died. Sigh. And we have power shipwide power outages. Our generator is not damaged. We have power available. We just have a power outage every time there's a temperature spike. I think we need a second generator or something. Also, Lucky needs adult supervision. Well, Lucky, you've successfully killed all our plants. You're going to starve to death. I hope you're happy. Remember, that wasn't luck. What the hell happened? Okay, this is the end. <laughs> We're dead. There's no way we could... Like, I don't even think these two guys have enough skills to run everything on the ship, and one of them's about to die. I don't think we can even... It's not even possible for us to fix everything at this point. Nadia just randomly dropped dead out of nowhere because I had it on... I'm gonna I'm gonna reload from save. I think this is silly. Let's let's go back. I don't normally do this, but to just have another crew member who wasn't even injured just randomly drop dead just because I had it on fast forward, it just seems like excessive. I don't know. Um, like she was completely fine until she went to start firefighting without a spacesuit and and then just immediately got burned to death. If we had a larger crew, I would just play through, but this is like, you know, after all the effort we've gone through to save the ship, I don't want to end on something stupid like that. That's just like me making a, a silly clerical error. Like, if Lucky dies, fine, but, you know, he's like, you know, we, we've been having issues with him for a while, and we've been struggling with it, and if he dies, that that's okay, but to have somebody just randomly die like that is just frustrating and pointless. I think. Um, okay, so we're gonna again jump to that other sector. I wonder if the station's gonna be the same this time or if it's gonna be a different type of station. I have no idea. I think it's still a mining station because I think the legend shows what type of station it is. Yeah, this is the same. Um, this is good, I think. Geek Space is the name of the mining station. Oh, we got lots of plastic that we can sell. That's good. Oh, man. We're going to be so rich. Look at this. Let's not get carried away here. We do also need some carbon. Um... We can actually buy fewer blue crystals because we have some in this sector that we can mine. So we got that. Unfortunately, we're not getting any medical help for Lucky here. Lucky is not that lucky. To five hit points. I think Lucky's toast. Sorry, Lucky. I tried, man. 
I'm really trying. Oh, he ate food. Look at that. Did you see that? He ate food. There's a possibility that he might... A remote possibility that he might live. No, he's dead. He's still gonna die. I can't even draft him and, like, force him to go to bed. I think at this point, if I hired a medical shuttle, he would die on the way over. Oh, wait. wait. He's resting. He's up to a whopping eight hit points now. Did the Siren World finally wear off? I think it did. It's a nutrient deficiency that is what's killing him. Let's see if we can actually buy nutrients here. Can we? We could buy some meat here. That might be what it takes to save Lucky. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can manage it. Um... We could have him eat human meat, actually. So if we do that, if we go with the idea that he can eat human meat in order to get the protein he needs to survive. If I give him some seeds and nuts on top of that. I mean, this is enough. This is all he needs, really. Um, we can afford to sell some plastic for a crappy price to save one of our crew members. Okay, so you guys need to get to work. Get on that logistics. Get that stuff done. Lucky, you're gonna eat a feast, my man. Okay. He's actually bouncing back. All right, what do we got here going in terms of temperature? I'm gonna open this up now, because we can. our food now? Do we actually have all the... We have plenty of vegetables. Other food is still being traded. Okay, here comes the train. I'm gonna have him sleep for like three hours longer until we get the food into the kitchen. And then he can eat. Okay, Lucky, my man. Go get the food. Yes. Yes, that's good. Okay. Was it enough? I'll send him back to sleep for now. So we got a full kitchen for, like, the first time in our entire playthrough, I think. I don't know if that's going to be... It's definitely helping. Uh, let's get the mining underway here. We actually ran, we actually used all our blue crystals, so that's pretty important. Oh, we still have some in the generator. See, look at this. His health is shooting back up. That was all it took with some vitamins and minerals. Sometimes you just gotta spend a little bit of extra money on that stuff when you can afford it. Um, let's have him eat some more if he can. Yeah. There we go. Ah, his anemia, his vitamin deficiency is completely gone. That's fantastic. Okay. Um, PCS Optimus Jess. That's an abandoned pirate ship. Centennial Hawk. Okay. Um... Got some good sales here. Didn't even have to resort to eating human meat, which was was gonna be my next uh, my next step. Okay, so we got we I think we bought all of their carbon just about, or maybe they traded with these guys for some carbon. I don't know. Um, 
we could buy some tech blocks here. That's going to be super valuable for us, I think. And I think we're okay on greed crystals. I'm going to buy one more, though. We might want some energy blocks, actually. These guys don't have any energy blocks. I'm going to do this. Uh, actually, we don't need blue crystals right away. I'm going to buy three tech blocks. These guys don't have cheaper blue crystals. They do have way cheaper blue crystals. We cancel all that. Sell that. Sell these. Sell that. And... I think we still want the tech blocks. We're gonna buy the blue crystals from the station. Since we have some blue crystals, we can turn our factories back on now. <laughs> Trying to decide what's a higher priority. Do we want to get our research facility back online? Or do we want to get, like, um, a new generator? Or do we want to get a third hyperdrive? I think the third hyperdrive should probably be our first priority. So otherwise we're going to have to... It's just, it takes time and risk to repair the hyperdrives anytime. The risk is because uh, it, uh, when we land in a new sector, if there's something dangerous, we can't get away from it. Okay. Let's go check out this derelict. If there is a hive over there, it's probably crawling with aliens by now. So we're going to hope that it's... It actually looks like one of our allied factions may be explored it already, because we can actually see the entire interior. Optimus Jest, which also means they might have taken all the resources, though. Let's see. Um, there's a unit of water here. I guess we could take that. Yeah, we let somebody else loot the, loot the derelict ahead of us, so that's fine. It is what it is. Better than having our guys get killed by aliens. We can, once the android ship leaves the sector, we can maybe think about doing some salvage. Because I think if we start salvaging now, they'll just take whatever we pull apart. Okay, so we have like a thousand credits now. We're going to spend most of that on carbon that we can use to produce more plastic. We do still need some blue crystals, though. Let's see if we can buy two of them. We can sell their chemical unit. I'm going to hold off on the hull box because, well... We can sell one whole block. I think 200 for the assault rifle is not really that worth. Um, we're going to buy... Oh, these guys have super cheap green crystals, though. Look at that. Might have to come back and shop here on our way back out of the sector. Okay, so we're going to be loaded with carbon now. Let's make this two separate transactions. We'll get all the carbon first. Centennial Hawk has left the sector. That's okay. Okay, so now we can think about salvaging here as well. Energy scrap, hull scrap. Um, how are we doing on another scrap? Soft scrap we'll take and tech scrap. Yeah, so the save load thing, I wouldn't... You know, if Lucky had died because he got hit by the Siren World and all that kind of stuff happens, um, 
you know, like I don't, I don't mind. Um, how do I put it? I don't mind losing or or having crew members die because I made a big mistake. But I, I don't want to have it happen. But I don't want to lose because I just like did something klutzy. I think that's like, you know, it's a, a huge time investment that I'm just throwing away because I'm like tired and I'm not paying attention or whatever. Merchant Federation is calling me. Probably, I'm betting they want to buy carbon. I don't want to sell them any carbon. I think we're going to use this carbon and we're going to make a lot of money. Eh. I mean, that's 500 credits, though. And they do have a million blue crystals and green crystals. And it gives us a friendly faction with them. So we could shop at a slight discount, I guess. It's a very slight discount. It's not a big impact at all. Um. Yeah, you know what? I'm feeling generous and we need the money. And we still have like another 10 carbon after we sell that. So I think that's fine. Let's do it. So we're making like probably like 60 or 70 credits back on each carbon unit that we bought. And it's just immediate profit. So it's not too bad. It's not as much profit as if we made plastic and sell it to somebody else, but that also takes time and energy. And manpower. Oh, so we got our three tech blocks. We got to figure out what to do with them. Low advanced power, production speed reduced. I don't know why that is. We got a full. I think the new power system is still a bit buggy. I'm gonna bug report this. I have a notice on this metal refinery that says oh, advanced power production speed reduced, but there is a there is a large power node right next to it uh, that's at 100% capacity. Okay. Still salvaging. We can afford to stay here for a bit and salvage. I don't want to stay here too long. The question is, what do we invest our three tech blocks? I think we need the, we need the third hyperdrive, right? I was just talking about that earlier. Let's get that done. Should have enough materials to manufacture this without too much trouble. I think when this current crop of vegetables is done, I'm going to switch a second grow bed over to fruit. It might be one of the two that are down here, actually. Oh, this one just finished, so let's make that a fruit. We don't necessarily need to grow too many vegetables. We might want to tamp it down to like five of each of each uh, food type. I still don't think we have the skill to grow seeds and nuts, do we? Still at body four, so no. We should probably put a door down here. I think we have a bunch of extra doors that are just sitting around in the hallway, right? Yeah, here's one. So 
So this is going to seal off the hyperdrives and protect them from everything else. Actually, let's put that up here so that it protects, it put, encapsulates the power node and the hyperdrives together away from everything else. Actually, we have a couple loose doors, so let's do it like this, maybe. I'm going to put one here, and then we can put the other one down there. And that limits the hyperdrive hull for uh, the size of the room that contains the hyperdrive to the smallest possible thing that we can have, which is important for damage control, because it means that it's less likely that any given meteorite, meteoroid that hits the ship is going to hit that area. For example. Yeah, here comes our third hyperdrive. As soon as we have the hull blocks available. Any other trading we want to do with these guys? Hmm. Not right now. Oh, we got 800 credits. We could buy another couple blue crystals. Let's buy like two more. Um, excuse me, I'm going to go on mute for a second. Sorry about that, I was like losing my voice there. I had to take a drink of water. Sorry for making weird noises on the mic there. ACS little mule. Okay, uh, this is where the profit comes in. So we got a new customer who wants a rifle and some plastic. Um, he also has 15 blue crystals, and he's the guy that we saw earlier that had a million tech blocks. So we have options here. I think we're going to buy the tech blocks while we can get them, while they're cheap. Um, because you don't see them just anywhere. Because we're getting we're getting like a thousand credits from this transaction just from these four items that we're selling. Um, we're gonna buy like four tech blocks and then two blue crystals, and we can still afford another green crystal from the station afterwards. That's gonna get us our research facility back, um, and probably some other really good stuff. I think now that we have that done, it's time to start expanding our hull a little bit more. Actually, did we get our third hyperdrive online yet? Let's wait for that first. Make sure we're... We should be up to 2400 as soon as this is fueled. Um, let's buy our Hyperium from the station. Okay, so we're underweight now, which means we can afford to expand our hull a little bit and fill around. The first thing, first improvement that I want to do is I want to just move this pod bay back one space away from this door. Actually, two spaces, I think. And what this is going to do is it's just going to make the it's just going to make the bridge area more comfortable. So, because we can wall this off into its own separate area. Okay, so we're going to abandon this. Oh, Alpha speed hanger, there we go. Okay, we're going to abandon this. And then we're going to move it. And then we're going to highlight the pod that we abandoned and claim it back to the hangar. So it didn't cost us anything to do the move. And then we just have to put in a wall here. And we have some extra random wall segments lying around. I think we do. So we don't even have to build these technically. Having random wall segments lying around for construction is not something I normally do unless I'm in 
really resource desperate circumstances because they're pretty cheap. But when every infra block counts, you gotta make that count. Okay, so we got a little or a little pod hanger off of the bridge there. Um, I also want to fill in this spot because we can potentially do a lot more with that room once that's filled in. I think this is originally where our pod hanger was, if I remember correctly. I kind of lost track. Um, we're gonna make this walled off. This is gonna be walled off. I, I think I'm gonna put another thermal regulator in this little tiny room where the actually I don't know if we need to do that. We might be okay there. Um, it might want to vent between this and whatever this room is going to end up being. Oh, I did this before and I got myself in trouble because there's no way back here anymore. Um, we don't necessarily need, have to have a door coming from the bathroom, though. I think that probably makes a lot more sense for us to have a compartment over here. Okay, let's see if there's anything... So we're kind of done salvaging. No, we're not. Got a lot of salvaging to do still. Let's see how our food supply is doing. It takes a couple days for them. I think each crew member only eats like 0.1 unit of each food type per meal, roughly. So it takes them a couple days to go through their food supply when you buy them a unit of food when there's only this, this few crew members. Of course, if, you, if they're eating them directly out of storage, they'll eat an entire food unit instead of just eating a fraction of each different food unit. So it's a lot less efficient. Oh. We got a cask of Amontillado situation here. Can we get this dismantling done? Okay, who does it? But it needs to be, it needs to be done now. There we go. Okay. Okay, we're going to delete these two wall segments. I don't know what we're going to do with the rest of this room yet. We'll see about that. Could be another pod hanger, maybe. We could put the item fabricator. I think I'm going to move the item fabricator in here with the recycler. Yeah, let's do that. No, I can't do it. It doesn't fit. Um, we could move that here. Seems like unnecessarily small for this space, though. How can we seal off the hull stabilizer also from the rest of the ship so that we don't have... Let's put some life support in here, I think. Can this fit? That'll fit. It doesn't have an output tile, so it doesn't conflict with the recycler. There's only one tile that has to be accessible there. Um... I think we're going to do it like that. That'll leave us room for a life support vent in the corner here. So we got this, and then we could put a wall over here. This wall is actually not useful for anything, so I think I'm going to... I don't think we can put a wall in between there and the generator. We actually can. So that's kind of good, actually. We can make a little wall that's just a hull stabilizer and then make the generator room separate. Now the whole back of the access to the whole back half of the ship is blocked off, so that's no good either. Um, we can fix that by just building some more hull. There we go. I'm going to do it like that temporarily. I just have to make sure this is accessible. Here we go. Don't want to go crazy cranking out infra blocks here. I think Lucky doesn't necessarily need that extra long break anymore. Let's cut it down to like an hour.
Is it just trying to make the ship comp more compartmentalized so it's more damage resistant and also making it more comfortable for the crew? So we got... Oops. So we got this going. So we now actually have a compartmentalized shuttle bay, which I was thinking we were going to have trouble with before. We could close this off and do something with this Carter, but it's probably more space efficient for us to use this space in some useful way, like to put in, I don't know, more life support there, or maybe another grow bed that's in a separate compartment, or something along those lines. Um, we're going to take this guy and move him, making sure that he's got power coverage here. To move him up into this corner. I think we should... I'm going to have a door here so that they can go either down along here or over there to get to the industry section. Any more random doors hanging around? I don't think so. Let's um, ramp up our water production again a little bit. There's always a part of me that panics when I see well, you have one unit of water in your inventory. I'm like, I'm about to run out of oxygen. But actually we have plenty of ice. Well, not plenty, but we have some ice of a good amount. Okay, we got our plastic for sale. That's good. Getting our salvaging done. That's also good. I have to get this door built sooner rather than later. Let's mark that as priority. Since we're continuing to stay in the sector because we've got a lot of work to do on the ship and the industry on board and all that kind of stuff. And we have access to blue crystals if we need them here. We have access to green crystals if we need them here. And we have resources still coming in from salvage. So this is a good place for us to be for a while. We don't necessarily have to be going to a new sector all the time. Uh, my mouse just ran out of batteries. Excuse me for one second. I have another pair of batteries handy right here next to me. Much better. It's funny, like I was saying, you don't have to travel all the time. Sometimes it makes sense to just sit and let your crew get caught up with all their tasks that they have to do. So I'm closing, I'm creating all these little compartments in order to... Oh, we need to open this up though. That should be enough, I think. Uh, no, we maybe need one more space there. There we go. Eddie was trapped back there. He did walk from here directly over to there. I wonder if we could put a door there, technically, but let's not go crazy. I think this is fine the way it is. Generator is in kind of a weird location. All right, what are we building now? Are we good? Okay, we got the pod bay separated off. That was the thing. Um, we could move the ops console back up to the bridge. I think let's do that, because the bridge is more comfortable now. No, we can't. I lied. There's not enough space here. Um, if we build out the bridge a tiny bit, we can move nav over. There we go. Um, so let me wall this off, first of all. So actually, what I think I want to do... So we're going to juggle a little bit here. Move that out of the way. Each of these consoles is three, wide, three units wide, so I just need to... 
I'm gonna move this door out of the way here. Uh, that's not really out of the way. There you go, there's a door in the hallway. This is like my own home renovation projects. I just have a door in the hallway sometimes, and that's fine. Okay. Okay, so now that that's built, we can immediately unbuild it and move it back over here. And then... That's the nav console which is being moved currently. Let's prioritize this and make sure it gets done quickly. Nadia's on the case. Okay, there's no there will be no sleeping while the nav console is on pieces on the floor, guys. We're smarter than this. We'll let them eat first though and rest for like an hour. Okay, we got it figured out. Now these two guys can go back to bed. And now Lucky can also go back to bed if he wants to. If she wants to. There we go. Okay, we got that. Um, oh, I moved this wall and then just built another one. Forgot that it existed. That's okay. All right, operations console can now also go over here. And now we have room for a door in between. So our bridge is a little bit better formatted now. A little more comfortable and a little more functional as well. Um, I'm gonna move this other lighting panel over next to the ops console. There we go. Beautiful. Coming together. Okay, is there anything else we actually need to do in this sector? How's our salvage coming? We're pretty much done. We got a little bit more tech scrap and a little bit more soft scrap to go. We got some stuff that we already scrapped though that we can bring on board still. Let's do let's get that done at least. Why do I have no infra blocks? We're out of electronics components because I don't have a rule for them set up properly. That'll do. We can also recycle. Let's have a slight preference for recycling. So if we have less than two infra scrap, we'll recycle. If we have less than two hull scrap, we'll recycle. If we have no electronics components, we can recycle tech scrap. And if we have no soft blocks, then we can recycle soft scrap. So we're bringing our manufacturing back online now. Now we're out of seeds and nuts and meat, but that's okay. We had enough to get our crew operating again for so we'll be good for quite a while. Okay. I think the thing that we need now maybe is a research facility. None of the rooms that we have currently are a good place for that because it needs to be somewhere that the crew can be comfortably for a while. Um, and all these rooms are very tight and industrial and cramped and dark and generally nasty to be in. I wonder where we want to put the algae dispenser. Is this going to be our permanent home for it or do we want to move it? Because we, we could put a research facility in here maybe in the storage area. The other thing we could consider is like a shield, but I think shields are very resource intensive because on top of the tech blocks and energy blocks you have to spend, you also have to spend um, energy cells to maintain it. And you lose energy cells every time you hit a nebula or get attacked by an enemy ship. Which, I mean, you know, if we had a shield in the previous combat, we would have maybe survived, but probably not because we our power was down anyway, so... Androids are coming back to check on us.
Okay, uh, we got a new weapons customer here. That's pretty good. So we got a little bit of profit there. We could, I could manufacture more rifles if we wanted to, but they're kind of expensive to manufacture as well as profitable. So I tend to prefer the just selling plastic when we can. Um, we could get a unit of raw chemicals here. We don't really need that currently. What are we doing on base metals and noble metals? We're okay currently. We have the option to buy tech blocks, but we have cheaper tech blocks from the station, I think. I'll double check that in a second. Let's sell this stuff for now and get some money. We're gonna buy, we're gonna use that money to buy more carbon and more blue crystals, I think. And maybe one energy block. Um, let's also start building a research facility area. I think that could be up near the bridge, maybe. I'm going to leave a little bit of room for future expansion of this area. I'm going to move this heater over here, and we're going to extend out the prow of the ship. So we're going to have plenty of room here for cryostasis. I don't think... I think that's okay. I think the research facility could be, like, here. And I think the other bridge stations... Actually, this is going to be another mining pod, I think, eventually. Um, not for a while, though. Anyway, let's extend it out. It's just like one square too narrow is the thing. Talking to myself here. So what I'm what I'm thinking is these I want these I want the bridge the research station to be in a bridge like area is what I'm thinking. But I don't know if I want it to be on the bridge per se. It could be temporarily. Maybe it'll be temporarily here, and then we'll move it later on when we have a little bit of room. I think this is an okay research room for now. Might have to expand it by, like, one more hull tile. Uh, pirates. Hello, pirates. Okay. Edward. Um, okay, we're going to go to 1x speed, first of all. Edward, you're going to get that, because I forgot to get it earlier. You're going to get that. You're going to get that. You're going to get that. I actually didn't explore the forward half of the ship, because the ship was already... My shuttle is leaving me to die. What happens when you draft the person that goes on the shuttle, but you don't draft the shuttle itself? Okay, let's get the hyperdrive spin up, because that can sometimes take a minute. So Lucky is going to work on that while we're getting Edward home here. Should be... Ready with time to spare, I think. How much money do we have? Is there anything, any last minute buys we want to make from the mining station before we leave? Um, blue crystals. That's what we want to buy. We'll see if we can manage this transaction before the pirates get into the sector. I don't know if we will or not. How many carbon do we have? Yeah, this is a good buy. We have time, and we're not giving them anything, so it's not on our logistics, it's just on them to get it done. Might have to cancel that transaction, we'll see in a second. But 
when our ship is ready. Our shuttle is dropping off cargo in the shuttle bay. Okay, their shuttle's on the way over, so I think we can get this transaction done. It's gonna be tight, though. But as soon as the pirates jump into the sector, we're leaving. We're not gonna take any chances here. But I think we'll have just enough time for the for them to offload their stuff and then for their shuttle to leave. All right, and their shuttle is clear. And ready, to, we're ready to jump. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, pirates are moving ahead of us. We'll let them. Okay, I guess we're chilling in this sector for a little while longer. Let's see if things moved around a little bit. We might be able to park a little closer to the derelict. Uh, they did move around a little bit, and we can park close to both the station and the derelict. So that's not too bad. How's our infra scrap total? We're at 29, that's plenty. I really wanted to go to another sector, but the pirates are there, and we learned our lesson trying to run past them and ignore them before. Okay. I think this thermal regulator... Okay, let me build the research facility. Research lab, rather. Um, I need to move this heater into the next room, I think, so I'm going to make one square here for that. Our federation wants carbon. We're gonna pass. We're gonna pass this time, I think. One second. Okay. I'll put it on slow and put it on mute for a second. Pirates coming back again. That's good because it's good because it means we can leave the sector and actually get somewhere. Oh, look at this! There's somebody outside uh, this space station walking around on the on the rock. I think they just went out. I think there's like an agri agriculture section on the mining station, this little dome out here. So I think they just came, they just went to the ag dome for whatever reason to work on the plants and come back. Okay, I don't think there's any reason with a pirate ship coming into this sector, there's no reason for us to sit here any longer and wait. So we're going to jump. Androids might fight the pirates. That would, it's too bad we can't really spectate that. It'd be interesting to watch. Uh, ooh, some ice. We do need that. We've got some blue crystals and a derelict coming up. I'm psyched that we're getting our uh, research facility back. That's huge. Oh, we could have, um, we could change our mining assignment again. We had, uh, Lucky taken off of mining temporarily for a while. So I'd have mining and maintenance be highest. Followed by construction and industry. Oh Edward also has... Hey Doobies, how's it going? Thanks for the follow, man. Um, I think this is a good priority setup. Oh, meteorites. Rude. 
when I weathered it long enough to get this one chemical unit that we're already in the midst of mining. Awesome, welcome. Thanks for the lurk. Are you uh, are you on Alpha fourteen on the the experimental branch, or are you playing on the main branch? Um, we just got a concussion of whatever guys. Oh, okay, cool. So this is actually the what, so what I'm playing here. This is actually the next version that's coming up. Um, so they they revamped the power system. They added uh, crew skill learning and a bunch of other cool stuff. Um, you can now target an enemy ship's hyperdrive, which is pretty sweet. Um, Edward needs to rest to recover from his concussion. Do we go explore a derelict when we have the concussion? Let's hold off on that. These are all derelict sectors, though, is the thing. I need a sector where we can just sit in mine for a minute. Um, I'm going to stop here because there's a Slaver's Guild ship in the next sector. Um, I think I do want to go ahead with the exploration despite the concussion because I want to get uh, the sector quickly explored in case the Slavers decide to come visit us. Um, we're going to enter near the neck of the ship here. No aliens so far. I think we got a lucky empty derelict here. Okay, the Medusa is explored. Oh, and we got a we got a stasis pod. Yes, yes. What do we get? Please, somebody alive this time. Edward, would you like to do the honors? Wait, you've got a concussion. Somebody else do the honors. Nadia, you do everything. You do this. Oh, Edward did it anyway. Whatever. And we have Saul. Saul, welcome to the crew. You are not malnourished yet, but we'll work on that. You're a gourmand, a former brewmaster. Nice. We definitely need one of those on board. Um, he has a one in mining. Uh, three in construction with a max of seven, two in industry, four in botany with a max of eight. Ooh, that's pretty good. Two in medical with a max of eight, three in research with a max of six, three weapons with a max of four, and two in operations with a max of nine, I think that is. So this is a good, this guy's a good addition to our crew. He's going to be our researcher, I think. Um, and of course, botanist and also construction. So he's going to do all the things, you know. All right. Uh, he'll, he'll be Nadia's uh, right hand man. Okay, so we need that and we need all this stuff. Oh, Edward. Edward, you're supposed to be asleep. This doesn't look like sleep to me. This looks like you walking around a derelict ship. There you go. He'll figure it out. How's our blue crystals doing? We've got about two in the generator and one in storage. So we have to go visit that other sector with the crystals pretty soon. for box all of a sudden. Did we just take those up off the derelict? I think we must have. Got a lot of stuff in the airlock, actually. 
Carla Corpse is Hyperium, human meat, energy cells, infra blocks, water, raw chemicals, ice, carbon, plastics. How do we end up with energy cells that are just sitting around in our airlock? I don't think we got all those from derelicts, did we? Maybe we did. Maybe our logistics is just really behind. Um, Cyber's Guild, you're rude. Okay, well, we got all the important stuff from this sector. We didn't have time to salvage, but that's okay. Okay, so that's done. This heater needs to move over here. Um, actually needs to move somewhere else first so I can build the wall there. I went by an oxygen generator near the bridge and it was really helpful and it enabled us to survive when we otherwise would have died. So I think we may want to do that again at some point. I'm going to move an oxygen generator to the forward section. It's nice to have one on each end of the ship just in case. Okay, Slaver's Guild has passed us by. That's good. I'm going to wait one step and hope they continue. Nope. They stopped, just to be contrary. Okay, here's some blue crystal. I gotta check and see if our new recruit is any good to firearms, because we have an assault rifle in inventory that we can hand him. Oh, that's right, he had weapons three, so I think he actually can help us out with that. Uh, let's see if he's cowardly, though. He's good. He has a good surrender chance, actually, so... There's gonna be our guinea pig, our bait. Oh, uh, we still have the concussion going on. It's only at minus two, though. Yeah, for Edward. Okay, I think Saul's gonna be our guinea pig. He's gonna be our, our bait for the aliens, if we need it. Um, so Saul, you gotta go get a rifle. Is there not one in storage? Oh, uh, we sold the one that was in storage. I haven't picked up a new one yet. Shoot. Um, or haven't manufactured a new one yet, I mean. Did I not? I turned off the automatic rifle manufacturing roll. Let's, um... Okay, we're just going to send them along for the ride anyway. If somebody else gets knocked unconscious, he can pick up a rifle. Or it could carry a wounded crew member, potentially. Okay, we see some crawlers immediately. It's a very small ship. I don't see any signs of creep, so that probably means we're in a good shape. Let's have Saul be our uh, designated door opener. There's a crawler over in the airlock there. We can lure him towards us. Focus on that one, please. Good. How do we even get over there to the other guys? Oh, we have to we have to actually go through them to get there. <laughs> Still mountain of crawlers just hanging onto the edge of the reactor there. Like proto molecule over there. I think there's one that got away, maybe. Oh uh, maybe not. Oh, there's an alien. You coming, buddy? Don't leave you behind. Oh there he is. He figured it out. There we go. That is a dead alien. I think there's some good stuff on board here. We've explored the Jabberwock. And we defeated the aliens with a snickersnack. And we also found an artificial meat snack. Oh, and we get five blue crystals here. Very nice. 
in the uh, mining for the sector, that is. It's getting to beat around 4 in the morning here, so I think we're going to have to call the stream here. I want to say thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did and you're watching on Twitch, don't forget to follow. If you uh, liked it and um, if you're watching on YouTube, don't, don't forget to subscribe. It's free. And hopefully I'll see you next time. And uh, Doobies, thanks for the follow. And uh, Neodyne, thanks for the follow. Welcome aboard, guys. And uh, thanks for hanging out and chatting and talking. Take it easy.